there are many barriers to insulin initiation. Uh, one of them is just the inertia of the provider and the, and the reluctance of the patient. The reluctance of the patient is usually due to their fear of hypoglycemia and the fact they think they may have a more severe case of diabetes, if you will. But they really concern about hypoglycemia because they've seen in other patients. So that's a big, a big issue for us when we're talking about starting insulin with our patients. Weight gain is a barrier and concern for patients when starting insulin. Insulin generally does cause weight gain. With the exception of Levomir, there generally is weight gain with almost all the insulins we have. We would like to use a smaller dose of insulin if possible to prevent significant weight gain. But we al always tell the patients that they may have some weight gain because they're no longer having any uh, glucosuria, they're retaining that car those uh, calories. We suggest that they really watch what they eat, exercise a little bit more to mitigate that weight gain that's associated with insulin therapy. The portion of patients who will ultimately require insulin therapy is anywhere from 50 to 80 percent. Usually by 10 years, about 50 percent of patients will require insulin. This, this uh, requirement of insulin may be delayed by some of the agents such as uh, pioglitazone, such as GLP-1 receptor agonists which may have some islet cell preservation, weight reduction with the GLP-1 receptor agonist and therefore less insulin requirement and eventually and essentially delaying insulin requirement.